What is going on, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Today we have got a couple of AMD news stories concerning Zen 4, which has been officially confirmed to be releasing by the end of this quarter. So not too far away from when we're going to get it, but we don't have any official release dates or specs yet. But thanks to some leaks and some things lining up with previous leaks that we've seen, we're starting to get a much clearer picture of what the specs are going to be on the Zen 4 processors, and they are massive. Also, the release dates were leaked out as well, so we're going to get into it. But first, today's video is brought to you by SuperCDK.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro licenses for just $22, and then you can unlock the prestigious Dark Mode for Windows 10, which I honestly could not live without. It is blinding without the dark mode you guys needed in your life. And now you can also save an additional 25% off at checkout by clicking buy now on any software products over there. Just go ahead and add it into your cart and put in my code JP25 at checkout and apply and that'll bring our price from $22.44 all the way down to $16.83, a savings of over $5. And I'll walk you through how to get your key and install it on Windows 10, go ahead and click submit order and complete your checkout from there. For me, that's going to be with PayPal and then click on pay now. After completing the checkout, it'll bring you to your purchased order page and it will update in a matter of seconds or just go ahead and hit F5. Go ahead and do that one time. It came through literally immediately. I got the payment email that it had gone through and the delivery of the product exactly at the same time. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click on view keys and codes and we'll get our code right here that we can go ahead and copy and paste in on Windows 10 by hitting the start button and typing the word activate. When you see that activation settings or see if Windows is activated, go ahead and click on that and it'll bring up this right here and click on change your product key or unlock Windows 10 as I already have Windows 10. I obviously don't need to put in a new key, but just paste it in and then go ahead and click next and you are all done and set. For more information on supercdk.com as well as the coupon code, be sure to check out the links down in the description below. First up, let's talk about the leaked specs for the Ryzen 7000 series. Again, like I said at the start of the video, it was confirmed already by Lisa Sue that it's going to be coming out at the end of this quarter, and that was confirmed just in the last 48 hours. So the 7000 series CPUs, the flagship 7950X is actually looking to be an absolute beast. If it wasn't already with the 5000 series, with having 16 cores, 32 threads, the bump in clock speeds is going to be the big story for Zen 4 when the 7000 series start shipping in the next couple of months, going from 3.4 gigahertz all the way to 4.5 gigahertz for the base clock on the 7950X Zen 4 CPU. And they also state that the boost clock will go all the way up to 5.7 gigahertz, which is an 800 megahertz increase. And the TDP has also taken a pretty steep jump as well, going up to 170 watts and 230 watts in the boost mode. And this was leaked out over on Billy Billy by ESCM or ECSM official. So this was posted over on the Billy Billy forums and then leaked out to X preview WCCF tech. And it's been making the rounds in the news here lately. But the, uh, yeah, the TDP is a massive jump over previous generations of really all CPUs. I mean, we're talking a near 200 watt or 200 watts with boost on. Uh, for a processor. That's, that's We're getting into graphics card territory there, folks. Uh, as you can see, they've got the full list of specs listed down here for all the different processors in the Zen 4 lineup, not just the 7950X, which, as I said, base clock of 4.5, boost to 5.7. We've also got the 7900X listed in here at 4.7, boosting to 5.6. Then coming down to the 7700X, which will likely be 8 cores, 16 threads as mentioned on here, uh, 4.5 with a boost of 5.4, and then 50, the, uh, sorry, the 7600X is a base of 4.7 and a boost of 5.3, and the Ryzen 7, Ryzen 5 looks like they got the lower TDP as well down at 105 watts as you would expect as they're pushing, you know, half the cores or even less in the case of the Ryzen 5 there. So pretty impressive clock speeds there, honestly, for the Ryzen 7000 series. Clock speeds have not typically been... Um, you know, a sticking point for the Ryzen processors. They've pretty much always been ahead of Intel as far as core counts are concerned, thread count, 
But when it came to clock speeds, Intel typically uh, much better overclockers, much better boosters than what the Ryzen CPUs have been up to this point. But it seems like they are trying to squeeze every ounce of power out of these things as they're going to need them competing against Raptor Lake, which has already had, has had some benchmarks leaked out and showing some seriously strong single-threaded as well as multi-threaded performance. And uh, the picture will probably become a lot clearer over the next few months as we're expected to see launches from AMD, Intel, NVIDIA, graphics cards, processors, all over the place kind of coming down these last few months of the year. So it's definitely going to be an exciting holiday season for you hardware enthusiasts. Uh, next up, I wanted to talk a little bit about the release date, which is expected to be before October, because as I said, Lisa Sue confirmed it's coming out before the end of this quarter, and that is lining up with some leaks that we had already previously seen. So these leaks come courtesy of WCCF Tech, who has listed when they're going to announce these products, the press embargo for reviews, as well as the actual release date for, for sales to the public. So they say that the product is going to be announced on August 29th, 2022 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. The press embargo for reviews will then be on September 13th, which sounds like a typical uh, review timeline. So they'll probably announce it on the 29th. And then reviewers will probably have them in their hands by September 1st or 2nd would be my guess, honestly. It usually happens pretty quick. And then that'll give, you know, testers a good, a good almost two weeks there to basically work on their reviews, which is pretty standard for, for processors unless something is really rushed uh, and left to the last minute and something goes wrong. But yes, this all kind of sounds, you know, fairly standard as far as what I'm familiar with in the past. And then the actual sales embargo will be on September 15th. So you'll get the reviews about two days before um, the processors are meant to come out. And I said that this was lining up with a previous leak that we had seen back in the middle of June where this slide deck was uh, being shown off by a retailer in China and uh, had some release date information leaked in, or leaked in there or at least embargo information on when this stuff was able to be mentioned. So it's all kind of lining up with the leaks that we're seeing now here from WCCF Tech. And Lisa Su did also mention the RX 7000 series of graphics cards, but didn't specify anything firm on release date, but she did say that they will be coming out by the end of the year. So there you go. We've got, like I said, we've got graphics cards coming by the end of the year from NVIDIA and AMD. We've already we've got graphics cards coming from Intel too now, which are apparently not that impressive, honestly, and have a lot of driver issues. Um, and then we also got CPUs coming with Raptor Lake and Zen 4. So very exciting couple of months coming here down the stretch for 2022. And uh, last, before I get out of here, just kind of a quick fun mention. Um, saw this over on Twitter. Uh, AMD, like I said, they had their financial call uh, a couple of days ago. And this is where a lot of this information was coming from as far as Lisa Sue confirming dates. And uh, on their slide deck, they got roasted, roasted for fucking Microsoft painting in a Steam Deck in the list of consoles. That's right. This is an actual slide from AMD where they use this photo of a bunch of PNGs for game consoles and graphics cards and then they just slapped in a JPEG of the fucking Steam Deck. I don't know what a JPEG is. I just want a picture of a god dang Steam Deck. <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me so pink, but it sure did. Oh man, let me know down in the comments below your guys' thoughts and everything. Raiders, tonight... First preseason game, the Hall of Fame game up against the Jaguars. And uh, Trevor Lawrence, though, sitting it out, as well as Etienne. So, yeah, it seems like uh, the, the silver and black put the fear into the Jags. At least Trevor Lawrence and his surfer boy hair. I'm kidding. I know it's a preseason game. It doesn't count. I'm sure the Raiders are going to be sitting a lot of their starters as well. Um, but I'd like, to see, I'd like to see some action. I want to see at least one, one bomb from Papa Derek Carr to Dada. Devontae Adams. That's right. We need to see the hookup. Devontae Adams coming to my fantasy team very soon. I hope so. Anyway, hopefully I get an early draft pick because I definitely want to get DA on there. <laughs> so that's all I've got for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you tomorrow for another video. Peace.